let's try to answer the question, will we get our money back from Novatech FX? Are there companies, uh, systems in place, agencies, people in place to help us recover our money? I get asked that question a lot in my comments. Stick around. We're going to dive into that and we're going to explore if there are options for us to recover our funds from Novatech FX. But first, just very briefly, I want to say as a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I talk about my opinions. I, I talk about updates. If you choose to dive into any of these platforms that we talk about, uh, explore, try to call out as scams. If you choose to get involved in them, that's on you. Do your own due diligence and only use risk money that you can lose. But right now, let's dive into a few areas that are becoming quite popular as related to recovering money from Novatech. Word is recently, apparently there's some emails that are going around from a person, company, claiming you can get your money back. Disregard those emails. In fact, let's jump over to uh, a Google search. As you can see, we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in, which I already did, Novatech FX Recovery. And let's scroll down and let's look at this second one here. Novatech FX Home. In fact, HTTPS Novatech-FX.com. Boy, that looks official. Kind of looks like, you know, when we would go to the Novatech site when it's up and running. So let's go ahead and let's click on that. Boy, this sure looks official. They got the logo right on top. Uh, Novatech FX account recovery and funds disbursement get started. Uh, let's scroll down here real quick quick. Oh, there's a link to a telegram group. And from the desk of the Reverend Cynthia Petion, uh, talking about how the database breach, our server had temporary down for security reasons, that we're delighted to inform you about successfully recovered 86% of all official data from the trading platform. So it goes on to say that you have to log into your account. Uh, let's just take a quick look around this site here a little bit real briefly. We're not going to drag this out, but I just want to let you know and share a few points with you so you don't get scammed. Uh, it looks like this is official because it talks about, you know, their location, St. Vincent and Grenadines, 2009. Yeah, that's when they started. Let's go back up here. Let's, let's click on, it says, if you're unable to access your account, please create a new one. So if I click on your account, that sure looks like when I was involved in Novatech and they're up and running. It looks like where I would log in with my email and my password, even remember me. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, create a new account, username, all this information, referral ID. So why am I pointing this out? Because this is a scam. This is truly a scam. This is not real. Uh, let's go to another search that I did. Um, well, it was back on the same search and I clicked on a Facebook link, business.facebook.com, hashtag Novatech FX source. And we scroll down through here and it talks about uh, uh, this one right here, the website. You can register the Novatech FX fraud with the Adirondack on this. I'm not going to click on that. I don't want to go to some site that's going to get my information. And that's why I point this out. Don't click on these sites. Uh, I'm going to go to my channel, my YouTube channel, uh, because if you follow my videos and you read any of the comments, you're going to see stuff on here. Uh, for two weeks ago, this was posted, this flame pipe crack. Uh, we go down here and it's another name. It's the same thing. Don't click on these links. Don't go to these websites. Why do I say all this? Why do I say don't do it? Because if, if they had the funds and if they were allowed to, we would be able to officially go to the site. Now, the Novatech FX site is still up and running. Let's come back. The site is still up and running. But we, we truly don't know what's going on. We don't even know if the Petions are still in the United States. 
They could be in Dubai. They could be somewhere in the Caribbean. We don't know. Yes, there's an upcoming a court date in about uh, three weeks, I believe it is. And I'm going to participate in that. And I'm going to bring that to you. Will they appear? We don't know. Some say that it's just a kind of a, a Canadian civil type uh, hearing and there's no reason for them to appear. Time will tell, okay? So let's just see how that plays out. Stick with me. If you want to, if you want to make sure that you're on that you know, uh, video, you get the update on it, hit that subscribe button so that way you get notified when that video goes out in about three weeks. I'm going to bring it to you. So we don't know where the funds are. We don't even know it if the funds even exist or if a governmental agency um, has locked them up. So don't go, don't fall prey to these other companies that are claiming that they can get your money back. Quite often, they will have you pay an amount up front. So you got $10,000 in, you pay $1,000 and I'm going to get your money back as they claim. Don't do it. You're going to be just further in debt. You're going to be losing more money than what we've already lost. So some are saying, you know, you'll get, you have to pay nothing until we recover your funds. Then they're going to tell you, we recovered your funds. Okay, send us $500 and we'll release the funds. Don't do it. Don't give bank account information. Don't give social security information. I wouldn't even give crypto wallet addresses. Don't provide anything to these companies unless you can walk into an office and the company's been in existence for many, many, many years and you're actually able to talk to somebody and they sit down and you can clearly see the legitimacy of you know, their asset recovery uh, business. That might be different, but don't fall prey to these websites. I, you see a change in my channel, calling out the scammers, calling out platforms where you're going to lose your money. And I don't want to see you lose any more money to bogus scammers, companies like what's preying on, you know, the big Novatech FX family. So short to the point, don't do it. I'm here for you. I want to bring you that information. I want to protect you. If you received any emails or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe we can even arrange something you can forward that to me and I can continue to bring that on to, to our YouTube family and share it. You know, I, and if I do share it, you know, I'm going to block out your name. I, I don't want to um, you know, pass your name along, but we want to get the information spread out there so we can help protect each other. So if you like what content I'm bringing you, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I want to keep bringing you more news as I get it. And in the meantime, it's a weekend for me. I hope you have yourself a great day and a fabulous weekend.